I remember before, long before I came to Asheville School, there was a play that was put on, and it had a song which was really catch, it really caught my eye, my ear. Oh, Asheville will sing your praise in a song. Asheville, with you will never go wrong. You will live till you conquer the world. Skyward, highward, your great flag will be unfurled. And Asheville, you'll have a place in the sky. Asheville, your glory never will die. On high will fly, the white is the blue, strong and proudly, long and proudly. Asheville, we will fight for you. Well, I still remember coming down. My first trip down to Ash Asheville, I was coming from Evanston, Illinois. And I caught the train to Carolina Special in Chicago. And it went down through Kankakee, Illinois. And Lafayette, Indiana, Indianapolis, and Cincinnati. As soon as he crossed the Ohio River, the Southern Railway conductor came through to collect tickets. He said, young man, you can't be in this car. And I said, what? I asked him, what? what? So I thought that's what the ticket said. He said, this is a colored car. You got to be in a white car. Well, I went ahead. It's my introduction to segregation to Jim Crow, Jim Crow law. And I went, we went down on through Lexington and Danville and Knoxville, Tennessee, and over to Asheville. The water on that train was so icky. Ugh. I just had it off and got a drink with it station drinking fountain. I went over to a drinking fountain and was just getting ready to get some of that good fresh water from the fountain. And somebody came up, hey kid, you can't drink there. Can't you see that sign says colored over. You gotta go to a white fountain. Well, anyway, that was my introduction to the community of Asheville. And they brought us in from the station into Anderson Hall. About three months later, it was a quiet Sunday afternoon. We were flinging photograph records from the third floor of the fire escape in Anderson Hall, and they sailed beautifully. We were flinging these photograph records, and somebody came out and said, Hey, the chaps of bound Pearl Harbor. And, of course, we all stopped throwing the photograph records. There were no television in those days, no radios in our rooms, but we rushed to the radio in the common room, and we followed too much as the, the Japanese attacking on Pearl Harbor and Clark Field and Hickam Field, and there we followed very closely over those following years, following days. The Japanese marched down the Bataan Peninsula, and it was a discouraging time in the United States. It, we, it, it really unified the country. It brought us together. Extreme isolationists, extreme interventionists, and they were politically opposite, but everybody pooled together on the event of Pearl Harbor. I remember very clearly uh, how the song God Bless America came so apparent to, uh, it became a part of my life. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans 
white with foam. God bless America, my home to sweet home. God bless America, my home.